Hello, my name is Myrna Thomas and I am the clubhouse manager at Manitoulin Island Country Club. We're a beautiful nine hole course on the west end of Manitoulin Island. We are a full kitchen. We serve breakfast, lunch and dinner. We're open from 8 until 8 in the months of July and August. We do banquets and we have daily specials that we feature. Mondays is seafood night, Tuesdays is liver night, Wednesdays is wing night, Thursdays pasta, and Friday is all you can eat fish and chips, which is our specialty item. We have uh, homemade soups and salads and Alaskan Pollock hand dipped, and that's our Friday special, and it brings in a huge crowd every week. We also open our season with a Mother's Day brunch usually the second weekend that we're open in May. And we close our season with a Thanksgiving scramble that we feature a full turkey dinner and 18 hole scramble. Welcome to our clubhouse. We are a 169 seat capacity building with a lovely bar. We are wheelchair accessible. We have a beautiful patio which you can sit and have a drink, have a snack, watch the players on the night pole, and then watch the most beautiful sunsets on Manitoulin Island. I'm Art Pummel. I'm the superintendent of this little golf course. Uh, it has been called the jewel of the island in the past. But when I come here 30 years ago, uh, this part of the course was the farm and it was wide open. There was nine greens and 18 tees. But slowly but surely, I've introduced a more type length course. So now, all the trees that you can see in this area was planted by myself or my crew, the naturalized areas, and then we introduced rough to frame our fairways. Uh, this is hole number one, which is a challenging green. It slopes very drastically to the front, and there are two small bunkers on the left-hand side. It is 301 yards from the back tees. This is hole number two. Um, it's 161 yards from the back tees, which is the red tees here. You have a bunker on the right, you have water on the left. It's a very challenging green. Uh, if you hit the side of the green, you're more likely to go into the pond or into the bush on the other side. The best way to play this hole is play it short to the approach, chip on and get out with one putt and your par's there. This is our um, third hole, number three. It's a par five, fairly short, 480 yards, but it's challenging. There's bush to the left and naturalized areas to the right. There's two trees in the um, rough area. There's also a grass bunker at uh, about 200 yards out. It has a split fairway uh, with rough around the grass bunker. The green is very, very challenging. It slopes drastically to the front. And if I'm nasty with the pin placements, I can make you go up and down quite a few times. I find this is a very uh, picturesque hole and I think you will enjoy it. It is challenging. Now this hole originally was, was all bush, all hardwood bush, and when they cleared it, they came up with the idea of saving money, so they brought in the two brothers, the Jeffkin brothers, who used to do the horse pulls, heavy horses. They cleared all this with their horses. Uh, that was in 1978-79. The course was actually opened in 1980. I find it very interesting that they even tried to do it as cheap as they could then. This is hole number four, which is a par, par three. It's 190 yards. There's three sets of tees here. Uh, it's a very, very narrow bush on either side. The green is sloping to the front, but there's a big drop off at the back. So if you're long, you're in trouble. There's two bunkers to the right hand side. And there's a naturalized area on the right hand, right hand side, but it's heavily bushed on the left hand side and it's difficult to get out of. There are also mountains on the left-hand side. This is hole number seven. 
It's over water from the back tees, which is 401 yards. If you want it less challenging, you can go to our front tees, which is the whites, and you don't have to play over water. It's a slight dog leg. There's a naturalized area plus trees on the left-hand side. Just off the approach to the green is a bunker. There's also on the right-hand side a large maple tree, which is in the rough. And there's outer bounds behind the green from the golf course road. Our members and a lot of the outsiders say this is probably, it doesn't look it, but one of our most challenging greens to read. It's got lots of breaks on it that you can't see. I myself think there's much more, pe more challenging greens on this course than that one, but that's what our members say. This is our hole number eight. It's 455 yards. There's a creek 200 yards out. There's also a pond on the left-hand side, and there's naturalized areas on the left-hand side as you get closer to the green. There's two bunkers on the right, uh, one bunker on the right and a bunker behind the green. The green slopes off, but it is clear and open, although there is bush there. I would also like to say that we also have a practice green and a, a practice net. It's close by the clubhouse and it is a good facility just to warm up on before tournaments or just to warm up before your round of golf. I hope you will use it and enjoy it. At this point I would like to say thank you for coming to our course and playing it. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a challenging course and you can lose a few golf balls, but usually I'm around and I'll throw one out of the bush for you. I hope you would come back again and I hope you bring more people with you. You'll find us very, very friendly. Our restaurant is nice. We don't have any big lineups. You can come, play golf and enjoy yourselves. Welcome to our kitchen. I'd like to introduce you to Manise. She is our morning chef. She works diligently every day to provide breakfast for the hungry golfers and our regular customers that come through the clubhouse on a daily basis. Today she is going to prepare for you a loaded western sandwich. Farm fresh eggs, fresh green peppers, onions, Let's have a little look at our pro shop. We're fully stocked with all of your golfing needs. Our items are crested by Island Promotional, a company from Gorbay. tournaments that we host every year. Our biggest one is our men's open two-man scramble. The prizes this year feature a 2017 Silverado 4x4 and a $10,000 shopping spree at Noble Lumber and a $10,000 cash prize sponsored by myself and Arthur Pummel. For the last five years, Manitoulin Island Country Club has been managed by the municipality of Gordon Ferry Island. We rely on sponsorship from the community to cover a lot of the costs that we incur. This year we were granted 10 electric golf carts from Manitoulin Transport, the Smith Family Foundation. Fundraising is an ongoing event. This year we held a live art auction and formal dinner. Many thanks to all of the donators for the island art. To find us from Northern Ontario, take Highway 17 to Espanola. 
It's a scenic drive from Espanola to Little Current where you will cross the Ionic Swing Bridge. Take Highway 540 from Little Current for 45 minutes to the west till you heat, hit Gorbay. At Gorbay, you turn south on Highway 542 and travel two kilometers and you will find us on Golf Course Road. From southern Ontario, travel up the Bruce Peninsula to Tobamori. You board the Chichimon Ferry, an hour and 45 minute ride, to arrive at South Baymouth. From South Baymouth, you head to Mindamoya, pick up Highway 542 and travel west for half an hour until you come to Golf Course Road again. Mondays we feature two for one green fees every Monday all summer long. We promote the lowest green fee prices and membership fees in all of Ontario that I'm aware of. In June we hold a youth camp for three weeks, promotes youth golf. We also have special rate for youth, anyone under 15 playing with an adult golfs for free. Thank you for visiting us at Manitoulin Island Country Club. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come and visit us anytime at our little piece of paradise on Manitoulin Island. So, uh, my name is John Gordon. I uh, retired up here about eight years ago. Lived all my life in southern Ontario and did lots of golfing in southern Ontario. Um, but however, I've, uh, when we decided to retire, we came up here where it's, I've told lots of guys it's paradise. And this golf course is probably the best bargain in the north. It's, uh, I just love it here. It's a great, great course. Awesome course. Um, my friends, when they come up, and my kids, they're always telling me, oh, Dad, you know, what are you playing this little rinky-dink little course for? I said, just come on. Come on out and see. And they just love it. And when we get out here, their score is usually worse than it is down south. It might be a few thousand yards shorter, but the greens are fast. They're challenging, and every part of the course just makes you have to hit every kind of shot here. Um, maybe not a 600-yard par 5, but uh, every, every club in the bag you get to use here at this course. So it's great. I love it. This is that we come out here very, very often with my wife. My wife and I are retired up here, and we, uh, we eat at the clubhouse. It's a great facility. Um, it's super for when we're golfing as well, drop in and have a sandwich or something like that. But it's also very nice coming out at night for a nice meal, glass of wine, and friendly atmosphere.